outputs. As you can see, this is my line XY. If I extend this, now where is my VP? VP, this will be my line XY. VP is above this. And HP, what it will do is, HP will be rotated in clockwise manner. So HP will be located where? HP will be located here. Okay, so let's move ahead. Now what I have to do is, I have to locate my point in VP and in HP. So let's mark my point. The point is that it is 20 mm above HP. So this is my line HP. So it, I have to go 20 mm above. So I'll mark 20 mm. Okay. 20 mm. I've marked 20 mm point here. And in the same line, what I'll do is this is 4. So I mark here. This is 22 mm below the line xy or say in front of vp and then i will connect it using a straight line because these both points are exactly in a straight line okay now what next i have to do is that my diameter is 30 mm so my uh, what will be my radius my radius will be 15 mm so what i'll do is i'll take 15 mm radius I have taken 15 mm radius and uh, now my front view would be a perfect circle because my this circle is parallel to HP. So what I'll do is first I'll make it, I'll put the center with radius is equal to 15 mm, I'll draw a circle. Is it visible? It's not visible. So I've drawn it. Now what I'll do is using it as visible and I will make it darker with my red sketch pen. Okay, so I have a circle and this is the height here is twenty mm. Clear? Now what will be the front view? The front view uh sorry the top view would be a straight line which will be there on HP. As you can see, if I view this from the top, then I will see a line straight line from here up till here that that are my extreme points so what i have to do is i have to keep this as 1.5 and i have to draw a straight line okay this is what this is my o dash which is my top view this is my o which is my uh, which is the center in my front view and if i see these both endpoints would be exactly in a straight line. If I say that A dash, B dash is my diameter, then here AB will be my view. Hence, what will happen is this is my front view. I'll write it here front view, and this is my top view. Understood? This was a very simple problem which uh, we solved. So after this, we will go on to the next problem. The next problem says a square plate ABCD side 25 mm that is one of its sizes 25 mm and negligible thickness is parallel to HP and it is in the first quadrant. One of the edges of the square plate is parallel to VP. So draw its projections so first let us write the given data or i'll say let us first see uh, how it is going to be okay so this is the square that i have this is the square that i have so it says that it is parallel to hp so it is going to be parallel to hp and it is going to be exactly perpendicular to what? VP. So let's see. I'll keep it this way. When I keep it, then it is the top view. The top view would be a perfect square. And what will happen is that if I lift it a little bit for the camera so that you can uh, 
know the difference and you can see in the small square that uh, the front view would be a straight line that is the projection the bigger screen shows you a perfect square in which uh, which is actually the top view and the uh, smaller screen shows you the front view which is a straight line okay so let's uh, write the given data the data is this is given the given data says that the side is equal to 25 mm the next thing that it says is it is of negligible thickness and this time it is parallel to HP instead of VP now the uh, one of its side of square is parallel to VP obviously when there are four sides then one of its sides will be parallel to what the VP so I'll again draw the quadrant first it is in the first quadrant and what it is it is something of this sort that it is actually parallel to HP so this is the case so I'll have a perfect square here on my HP and a straight line here on my VP so this is my VP and this is my HP which will be rotated so my HP will actually be located below line XY so I'll draw my line XY I'll draw my line XY okay then the next thing that I'm going to now the height of the square from HP or the distance from VP is not given so I'll be able to draw wherever I want that is the thing so I'll name it as VP and HP now first of all I will draw the top view first I'll draw the top view why top view because here I'm going to have a perfect square square of side 25 mm 25 mm means 25 centimeters so I'll use my scale and draw a square of 25 mm I'm using the shortcut method so you should always avoid avoid the shortcut method but I'm here on camera so so it becomes a perfect square inevitably I'll give it this distance is 25 mm now I will extend the projector lines I'll name it ABCD first A B C and D now I will extend the projector lines and again the height from HP is not given so I will do a simple thing and I will draw a straight line and I will name them this will be the point A dash as well as C dash because as you can see that it is A and C both are there and this will be B dash and D dash both the points will be there and the distance is again 
25 mm clear now i'll show you at one thing i'll just keep a diagram which is parallel to it which was the first question now here i will mark this this is my front view and this is my top view here what happened is that my square is parallel to hp so i am having and it is perpendicular to vp and here what i am having is that it is parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp so if it is pa per parallel to vp then i'll have the true shape in uh, vp and a straight line in hp that is my front view and top view and here if i have it parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp then i'll i'll have a straight line in vp and a perfect square in what hp that is my top view okay let's move to the third problem i hope these things make it clear now the third problem says a regular pentagon of side 40 mm is in the third quadrant it is parallel to vp draw its projections the thickness of the line uh, uh, the plate is negligible now we have a pentagon so this pentagonal plate has one side of 40 mm this is a pentagon each side or say this one or this one each side that is this one is of 40 mm this side is 40 mm and it is in the third quadrant so when it is in the third quadrant what will happen is that uh, let's see it is in the third quadrant and it is parallel to vp so let's draw its projection first let's give, uh, write the given data so you'll be able to understand that how uh, this third quadrant thing is going to affect the figure given data regular pentagon it is a regular pentagon that is there on the sheet that i wrote the second data that is given is it is parallel to vp the third thing that uh, it says is that its thickness is negligible and the location is in the third quadrant okay so if it is in the third quadrant what will happen is this is my quadrant first second third and fourth so it says that it is located in the fourth quadrant now what the thing is that it is below hp and behind vp that's why it is in the third quadrant so if i draw there is no specifications given where it is located in the third quadrant or which it is there so i can take any orientation and i can take any distance below hp and behind vp so i'll draw simply draw a pentagon and it is parallel to h uh, vp and perpendicular to hp so it will be located the point will be located say the center of this will be located at say h distance uh, below hp and say f distance behind vp so that's why i drew this particular thing now uh, the next thing that i want is that i'll see first that how does it look so let's see it is perpendicular to so it is parallel to vp so this is the thing that is going to happen these are the two end points okay yeah so perfect so the top view as you can see will again be a straight line and the front view as you can see will uh, again be what will be a pentagon now the straight line would be the length between these two distances so first we will draw the pentagon and then we will extend the end projectors from these lines and then we will have over the top uh, the other uh, view so for drawing this i need to know how to draw a pentagon and another thing that we have to keep in mind is that here this is hp and this is vp the vp will be below line xy and this will go clockwise again so here will be somewhere my hp will be located so now if i draw my line xy
this is my line xy so my hp would be actually above and vp would be below this is why this is because it is in the third quadrant this is a question of third quadrant okay so it will be it is parallel to vp so in vp we will have what we will have a, a whole pentagon so now i will draw a pentagon first using my uh, scale and the side of the the side that is given is 40 mm okay so this is what i'll do Forty mm. Here we go. Now, what I'll do is I'll keep my D, and at seventy-two degrees, why seventy-two? Five. There will be five sides, so five angles, and three sixty degrees divided by five is seventy-two. So the angle would be seventy-two degrees. That is the exterior angle, obviously. So we have to start measuring from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up to seventy-two. So it will come somewhere around here. And the same thing that I'll do it from here. Again, I'll measure seventy-two degrees from here. Seventy-two degrees, starting zero, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. Uh, sorry, up till seventy-two, which will come somewhere. Oh, sorry, this is seventy. So this is what my seventy-two will look like. Sorry for the two marks. These are my points. This is first point, and this is the second point. Now what I'll do is I'll take my scale. I'll keep it. I'll keep my point here. I've kept six, so it will go. Sorry, one, two, three, and four. Okay, uh, let's use a different paper actually. So if you use a different paper, and it will be better for 